Welcome back YouTube. We are turning on final in order to do an overhead break and land at Gudada runway 33. Gudada, Colt 1-1, inbound, runway 33 for an overhead break. Alright, so we're going to try an overhead break landing. When I get my speed is about right, but I need to get down to about 1500 and get uh, on the proper heading with the runway. Alright, so we want to be at 1500 feet AGL and 250 knots. Enfield 1-1, one, one. cleared for visual, contact tower. Gudada, request landing. Gudada, Enfield 1-1, one, one. request landing. Alright, so we're coming in straight over the runway, and when we're about halfway down the runway, we're going to break to the left, at about a 90 degree turn if we can. Colt, 1-1, one, one, breaking left. And you want it to be about a three. Okay, uh, that's perfect. Gear down. And we're clearing the perch here. And once I clear the perch, I want to 45 degree turn and 10 degrees down. May have cut it too close. Enfield one one. Gudata, check landing gear. Wind one eight zero at two meters per second. Runway three three. Altitude, altitude. Coming in a little high and a little hot. But I can make this work. We're going to have to get on the brakes a little sooner than I would like, but that's okay. Oh. 
what you get for not paying attention. Let's do our after landing checklist. Speed brakes in, throttles back, nozzle steering on, anti skid off. Ejection seat safe. Tack in ILS equipment off. Day night HUD filter on, taxi lights as required, countermeasure system off, windshield defog the ice off, pedo heat off, position lights set to flash, and anti collision lights off, flaps up. So I think I figured out why my <clears throat> mark point bombing didn't work is I had a speed set and it wasn't set to my steer point. So when I was on the mark points, they couldn't drop because I had no speed. So you have to have your speed set to steer point, which you can tell is if it's in your HUD, your speed is set to steer point here. Uh, and that will make the difference in whether the uh, mark point bombing works or not. So a mistake on my part, but thankfully because of my wingmen, I, it wasn't a grave mistake. There's three. Very nice touchdown three. Very impressed. All right, brake set. Master arm safe, gun pack safe, laser arm safe, TGP safe. Go ahead and turn kick you, JTARS, if sick. Right and left MFCDs off. Cage my standby attitude indicator. Cage tizzle. Turn off CDU and Iggy. And let's see. If two and three are going to taxi over to me. And turn our taxi light off. All 
I need to empty our weapons here. Just going to make sure we safe our weapons. Request rearming. Oh, let's do canopy open. Let's try that again. Request rearming. Copy. Where the heck are you going to? Rearming complete. And our weapon or our jet is now clean. Oh, there it goes too. I'm fairly certain that's not how you're supposed to park. But what do I know? Anyway, this is Recon Stewart, and that was Mission 1 of Operation Save Badger. We took out some very tough SAM sites before they could get activated and kill us. And then we provided CAS to our JTAC in the city of Kislovistik, or some such pronunciation. And... Uh, I thought it was a great mission. We did well. Um, I act like I said. I acted more of a air uh, forward air controller than I did a shooter. But two and three did a fantastic job, especially since they're AI. I was thoroughly impressed. If you like the format that I'm trying out here, where we uh, do 15 minute chunks and we don't cut anything out, and you can see the whole mission from beginning to end, uh, please let me know. If you don't like it, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you do like it, if you could give me a like, that way the channel will be a little bit easier to search in YouTube and get more people to my video. And if you haven't, uh, please subscribe and, uh, we will see you all next time. So thanks for watching. This is Recon Stewart and we will see you later. Hello everyone. This is Recon Stewart and this is Attack View. Of Operation Save Badger Mission 1. So here is my three ship. We have uh, departed Gudata and we are on our way to Fence In. So let me speed it up here. Alright, we hit Fence In and we got our JTAC coordinates. And we are turning on to the SAM site coordinates that they gave us. Now here is me running in. And I'm trying to do my two mark point uh, bombing runs. However, I failed to remember that my speed needs to be set to my steer point in order for that to work. So as I get here, I realize I don't have this sorted out properly. I've got to turn off target and set a speed and come back. Fortunately, uh, Wingman 1 and 2 uh, are doing right by me and taking care of me. So here comes, it looks like three is running in. And it looks like he's going to drop a GBU-12. And that GBU-12 is going to take out the first radar site. And then here comes uh, two, and he also takes out a radar site with the GBU-38. And while I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing because my target just got destroyed, I fly over the target, and here comes two again, and he drops a GBU-12, which is going to come back down, and I think this takes out uh, a good chunk of those, uh, the actual SAM launchers. So I'm turning back in, I'm going to try and get that third radar sight. There's my GBU-38. And it is headed for, it's hard to tell, there's a big cluster of bad guys there, but I think that's the other radar site. And then here comes 
two with uh, two GBU 12s and then two GBU 38s to take out a good chunk of uh, the rest of the SAMs launchers there. And here comes, uh, that was three rather, here comes two and he's dropping a GBU 12 and oh this might be helpful. Yeah, he just took out a let me back that up here. Well, he just took out a big chunk of guys there. All right. And now I'm making a run. I'm going to take out uh, the remaining SAM launchers here. And here comes my oh, nope, I'm turning off. Right, making my approach this time. There's my GBU 12 and right into that batch of SAM launchers there. And then here comes two with two GBU 38s to take out the remaining uh, SA-10 launchers. You've got this one here and this one here. Boom boom and we are off the target if I remember correctly we are gonna get called by Badger yep that they're getting taken fire from a number of units here while they're holed up into this building so I call I find them on speed and I call for my wingmen to run in with rockets and here comes oh somebody got a missile launch it's the man pads here comes uh, three he's got rockets on target bam 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 he kills a good chunk of them and then goes two covering him falling him out that was me actually covering him falling him out and then looks like two kills the rest of those uh, Two kills the rest of those infantry troops with the remaining his rockets. Here am I making my first gun run on these uh, APCs. I take out two of them and am dodging a heck of a lot of small arms fire. And I'm waiting, trying to get my speed set so I can send my remaining wingmen, but I'm also trying to make runs on them. So I'm going to try for a rocket pass on these two APCs that got away from me initially. Rockets, rockets, rockets. I miss with everything. Terrible shooting. And I do a great job of uh, jinking and avoiding the, uh, the return fire. All right. So these, I'm still keeping an eye on these two APCs. I'm trying to get to them before they get to Badger. I make another gun run in. I hit the first one, or the one in the uh, back position. And I'm able to target uh, the first one and get uh, Wingman uh, 3 to try and take it out. But he misses. I can't see him. I see him on this pass. I see him. I'm going to get around to getting back to him. I've got to hurry because he's about to engage Badger. He's shooting at Badger, shooting at Badger. I'm trying to get turned around, and here comes three to save the day. Bam, bam, bam. Gao 8 kills that APC. And we, of course, save the day and have a great mission. Badger calls us off. RTB. We get in formation. We head back to base. And here we go, heading back to Gadada. Da 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 da. da. Now I break off because I want to try an overhead break landing, which goes kind of well. So let's take a look at what this looks like in tack view. So I'm about halfway over the runway. I break left, hard 90 degree turn until I'm 180 degrees. I reach the perch 
I break 45 degrees, 10 degree down, and I come in and I make a, a decent landing even though I was a little high. Taxi off, taxi off, everybody's, and here we are. So that was TAC view of Operation Save Badger, uh, Mission 1. I thought that mission went about as well as it could have. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the format that I'm trying with these new campaigns. Uh, please leave a comment and a like below. Let me know how I'm doing, what I can do better. Uh, what things you were confused about in the video, things that uh, maybe I didn't explain, but you have questions on uh, some of the systems or the gun runs, whatever it is, uh, let me know and I will get back to you. But uh, this is Recon Stewart and appreciate you watching. We will see you next time. Take care.